Hello again, my friends, Brian King here. I was having a conversation with a client last night and the question came up of what is emotion? How do you tell the difference between what's the thought versus what's an emotion? And I asked that question earlier today of my Facebook tribe and there were a lot of different answers, some of them very intellectual, some of them very simple. And based on that, I knew that this is not really something people give a lot of thought to. They're used to having their emotions, some of them very intensely, but they don't put a lot of thought into what is it exactly? What is the, what's the mechanism? You know, you can tell my dog's very passionate. And while I was talking to my client, I really didn't have an answer for him when he asked me, what is emotion? The reason the dogs are barking is because kids are coming home from school and they're seeing them along the fence line and they're not very forgiving puppies. So when I looked up the definition of emotion, the first one I found absolutely sucked. And let me tell you what it said. It said that emotion is a natural instinctive state of mind derived from one's circumstances, mood, or relationships. So in other words, that tells you absolutely nothing. So I looked again and I found an even better definition. And that definition is emotion is often the driving force behind motivation, positive or negative. Boom. That's exactly how I think about it, is emotion is energy in motion. It's that energy inside of us that compels us to take action. When you are angry, you take an action that's maybe in defense of your survival. When you are sad, you withdraw and you maybe look for some consoling or you console yourself. When you're happy, you will take action to seek out things to keep you happy. Whatever vibration emotion is at at any given time is what you are driven to do. And again, it said motivated, positive or negative. Anger can lead to hurting somebody. That deep seated stuff you've been hanging on to for decades that you haven't dealt with can lead you to want to victimize other people. So you have that emotional drive, that motivation to take action. Because you can have thoughts all day long. In fact, you do. But it's when it's coupled with emotion that you want to act. That's the key, that's the driver. So let's say the, the thought is your foot and the emotion is the gas pedal. You put it down, you slam it to the ground, and boom, you're off and running. And one thing that, as I think about this, is people give us advice about what to do with our emotions. They either tell you to be more of it or less of it. You know, oh, you should try and be happier. Or you should try and be less anxious, less afraid, less angry. So what they're inviting you to do is learn to moderate your emotions. But again, they're asking you to moderate something that you may not even have a working definition for, something you might not even understand that well. But when you back up and, and look at that definition, that emotion is energy in motion, that it is there to inform your ability to act in a specific way. So one thing you can really reflect upon in order to get at the heart of why are my emotions way out of control sometimes? Why am I super, super angry? It's because behind all that, there are some beliefs, some triggers, some training within your past that is telling your energy center, I have to act in this way. I have to act aggressively. I have to laugh heartily. This is hilarious. I have to cry heavily. So what is going on within your programming that is telling you, that's motivating your energy to show up in this way? That's motivating you to vibrate at a very high anger level and say, you must act in this way. So it's not necessarily a matter of regulating your emotion. It's a matter of understanding and regulating your motivation. Because as I said, the emotion is the gas pedal. It's what makes you act but the motivation behind it that says, this is what we need. We need anger or we need sadness or we need fear. What's happening behind the scenes that's saying this is what we need? 
discover that, discover your motivation, discover the beliefs behind it, and you will then, by definition, learn how to regulate your emotions. Sound like a plan? Try it out, reflect upon it, ask me any questions that you have, and maybe we'll even work on it together. I hope this is helpful. If you know of anybody else that could benefit from this, go ahead and share it with them. I think they'll appreciate it. This has been Brian. We'll talk again soon.